Well, howdy, y'all. Hey, uh, John and I finally got back out into the hog woods. It's dried up just a little bit. Uh, and we got some corn out. And sure enough, we were rewarded with uh, a sounder coming in on the back fence. And then uh, this fella here we're calling Achilles. He's got a hurt foot. Uh, he came in, so we were thinking, man, we, we better get out there and see if we can't get him. So we... We climbed up in the ladder stand, <clears throat> put out some little patches of corn there, and you can see how wet it is there. Anyway, we uh, we sat up in there and waited till dark come, but uh, we never did have any luck. In fact, it was so dark that we didn't even see this little buck kowtowing this coon until we reviewed the trail cam footage the next day. So we sprinkled some more corn out. Uh, around third base and sure enough that darn sounder showed up again. They're they're getting pretty hungry I guess the acorns are gone right now But then we finally saw old Hercules come in. We had seen him before a while back but uh, He come in and started eating out of the corn pretty early in the evening So we thought we might be able to get him our most heavy set of corn coming in through here to the trough and then we got a, a little lever here on this uh, saloon doors that'll Pull. We don't have it set just yet, but at some point we're gonna we're gonna get that set. We got a camera front and back so we can watch who's coming and going. And then we got a breadcrumb trail that goes all the way up to the pitcher's mound up there. And then we got a breadcrumb trail that's going down the third baseline to second base. And the spinner feeder is shortstop. And uh, we set the feeder uh, timer on it for just a, a little bit because we don't really want to feed them a whole lot. We just kind of want to basically lead them over to our second base, which is the catch pen, because there's a sounder been coming in the parking lot on the back fence back there. So you can see we just have a, a small scattering of corn here. We keep a camera on it. Well, we got up in the blind pretty early because we didn't want to spook him out of there. And uh, we waited for dark to set in, and sure enough, it wasn't too much longer, he showed up. And he started working his way uh, right down that baseline. We were going to let him get all the way to the catch pen and get in front of the camera, but he kind of suddenly got spooky when he looked up and kind of saw that pen was so close to him, and he ran back over into the tall brush. So you'll see what happens. Old John got a really good hit on him. Knocked him right down. 